Hey guys, welcome to Path to Nowhere. We have here Irene. We're going to discover her build, how to build her properly. And we're starting off with her skill. Which one should you prioritize first? Okay, so obviously when we talk about, about Irene, uh, one thing comes to mind, she's your weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> Okay, as in as in the thumbnail that you saw. So first and foremost, we have to ensure that her ultimate is given priority. A lot of destruction here. Unleashes different types of attacks or damages depending on who she's attacking. Empty grid, core, coreless target will get bigger attack, of course. Target with intact core will be getting a smaller attack and magic damage to all enemies within the range for two times accompanied by one core damage each time target with all cores broken irene creates a destructive turbulence dealing 961 of her attack magic damage to all enemies in the target grid again she's a wmd <laughs> okay next however your second choice would be or should be conspiracy why because she is a battery in her uh, in, in in herself she gives the chief additional energy and the interval actually goes down as you level up this skill down to 20 from 30. so she gives the chief one energy and five energy for herself this one ensures that you can uh, make the cost a little bit you know negligible because again uh it's really hard to go um with a cost of 40. uh 20 to 30 is actually good 40 is of high cost and this makes her kit very very good okay number two is going to be conspiracy number three however is going to be hidden chess master when an ally casts an ultimate this adds to her Irene's next core of destruction will deal 15% additional damage. The effect can stack up to two times, which is 15 times two. That's 30%. But if you level it up, this is going to be 27. So times two, that's going to be around 50 plus percent, 54. So additional damage. That is how big the damage is. So this will come actually after you've increased her energy production. She has to be near the chief. So again, so this is the third hidden chest master. This the last one would be her basic attack. You don't get her for her basic attack, you get her for her ultimate. Okay, so last one is equilibrium, which is her basic attack. Okay, again, um contract this uh, contract destruction, conspiracy, hidden chest master, and equilibrium. That is the sequence in terms of priority for her skill. Okay, moving on to her crime brand. Um, I've I I was going with another crime brand, but I decided to go with this one. This is actually better for her because this enhances her magic damage at plus fifteen percent. Although again, damage received is a plus twenty five, but again, I think it's worth it for the damage she brings. Um, she just needs a couple of hits um, towards her enemies and they're going to be withered down. So, again, I think the, this is the best set for her. The other set that I was talking about that you might want to consider would be this one. Providence. So, an attack of plus 6%. Plus, um, for your, uh, what do you call this? Yeah, Providence, right? So, yeah. Okay, Providence and this one. So, this for Providence, it, it's going to take up two and the third slot, the second and the third. For the first slot, you will be probably using this one. So, just to make sure that she, you know, uh, uh, recuperates part of that, ener that HP that she lost, probably. But, again, I'm going with... This one, the Syndicate Glory 1, to give her more damage for her um, ultimate and also for her basic attack. Okay, so moving on to her deployment role. 
Okay, so for her deployment role, again, she needs to be near the chief in a cross section. So for this stage, you only have one place for her, which is here. So let's try this out. Um, again, I don't have any energy for harder stages, but I tried this one because this is going to be a bit a small challenge actually so as you can see here irene i have two defenders in front of her so as she does her thing so i think she can hold on to these babies the problem with her is that her energy is going to creep up so we have here See that void? That's a very big, uh, very big void for that ultimate of hers. So so far, um, she will not really move for you. She will be in a place where she can do damage from afar. Um, again, if you move her away from from the boss, definitely you'll take away that benefit of energy regeneration. But at this point, I think we are good. So if you don't have that energy regeneration, that energy, you know, um, regen bar will not go as far. So I have to do that black hole and there we go. So, so far, guys, um, that is how you use her. Um, there's nothing special, you know, in terms of movement for her. It's more of actually um, making sure that you target the right type of enemy for her ultimate to maximize her. Okay, guys, so for her shackle level for Irene, I already have her at one. So hidden chest, chest master stacks up to three times, which is a nice add on. But definitely you'll have to go to number four at least again for the ultimate energy consumption is reduced by three. Again, she's going to be maximized if you if she gains energy faster and energy consumption is going to be uh, reduced. So ultimate damage, of course, is good. And this one is also good at number three for each different class in the team. Team damage is actually plus 3% for each one. So if you have six classes, different classes on the team, that's plus what? Three times six, it's 18%. So this is a good add-on, but definitely you'll have to reach number four for her shackle to maximize her out. Okay, so and the last one would be: would it be, you know, would it be um, worth it to phase three her? So let's go through her phase three. It gives her additional damage for phase three for her ultimate. Uh, added exclusive ultimate dark. Chess master once activated the course of destruction set by the contract destruction on the grids without enemy units will stay on the battlefield and unleash their effects when an enemy approaches based on the type of enemy using it again will cancel this effect okay so what this means is that its ultimate is going to be permanently be in the field if she uses the ultimate again the first one will disappear and she could place the other one in a different location. So this adds to probably an attacker on the field. And this is going to be very, very exciting. Okay. We'll stay on the battlefield. So it's going to be it's going to be an additional uh unit, kind of unit that stay on the field that can deal damage. So again, guys, that is it for her phase three if you're asking me again is it worth it yes definitely it's worth it and hopefully you guys have some you know great luck in your pools right now her banner is still um available it was just released yesterday so good luck on your pools stay safe see you in the next one